All right, we're gonna talk about outfield play on a ground ball. You need to know the elements. Obviously, it's a ground ball, so what type of grass are you gonna field it on? Are we playing in Wrigley Field, where it's crab grass and you're at like the city park? Or are you at Angel Stadium, where it's nice and tight and it's, it's gonna be a fast surface? So that's the first thing. Know, know what you're fielding it off of. And later in the night, you know, if you get to Anaheim Stadium or, or San Diego, you're playing at Petco, it's gonna get wet. So, you know, the, the ball's gonna, it's gonna be slick and it's gonna explode on you. So you gotta know where, what the surface is. Okay, you might be at the, you know, on AstroTurf also. As an outfielder, there's pretty much two balls. It's gonna be a fastball and a slow ball hit to you. At that point, on a fast one, we gotta be more technique oriented. Start in our good ready position, and we're gonna be down and athletic. And when that fastball is hit to you, you gotta explode out towards it, but then you gotta reset and get under control. Your feet need to chop, you gotta slow down and get under control so you can feel it, because it's gonna be coming at you hard. Okay, we gotta get under control. We're gonna go through it. We're gonna catch it out in front off your glove side hand. So as a you know, right-handed thrower, I'm gonna catch it out here with my left foot forward. I'm gonna catch, and then at that point, I'm gonna use all my momentum. I'm gonna use everything I have from my backside and my legs to take a nice big crow hop, explode through the ball, and then give them a hard, solid throw to the bag, whether it's second or third. On the slow ball, you can come through it a little bit more crazy, a little bit more wild. Get to it, go hard, and just come through that. And you don't have to be as technique oriented. Right here, on the fast one, we're catch, crow hop, throw. So it's one step pretty much. On the slow one, you could get at it hard. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult to get under control. So you might have to take an extra little hop step or a little step in there, but you're gonna get a lot more on the throw. And again, we're gonna use all of our backside, all of our legs, and we're gonna make a good, strong throw. And it's gotta be through the cutoff man. That's the most important thing. You gotta throw it through that cutoff man. You get those high throws and now it's a circus and you get guys running to every base. Okay, so you gotta use those, those techniques there involved, whether it's the fast one, a little bit more technical, or the slow one. But throw it through that cutoff man to hold that running game in check and always trying to keep that double play in order for your pitcher.